Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com back today for a little pouring experiment. You can see I've got two colours and this has been on my mind for a long time. I thought how many colours do you really need to make a successful poured painting? Could I do a, a painting with only two colours? So that's what I'm going to try to do today and even more so I'm not going to mix two colours to make a third colour if that makes sense. So it will just be two distinct colours and I have got black and gold because of course gold everything needs gold and a teeny teeny little cup you can see these are teeny teeny uh, I love these and if you are lucky you may catch them for sale in my Etsy store there'll be a link under the video where you can get them if you want some of these teeny teeny little cups and I'm going to do a black negative space background with um, a little flip and drag cup which is going to have gold and black. Now I was thinking should I just have gold in the cup and I'm not sure so I'm going to give it a go with mostly gold and some black to try and kind of break up that gold and create more of a celled effect as we go but we will see what happens. So in terms of my mix my paints are pre-mixed in these bottles and those are two parts of the acrylic paint to uh, one part of Floetrol and for bottles these size which are 8 ounce bottles I generally put around 10 to 12 drops of the treadmill belt silicone in there plus water as needed obviously to get the pouring a creamy consistency then I also have another black and this one is mixed up the same but it has no silicone in it and this is the one I'm going to use for my negative space so I'm going to start first of all with my cup Give my bottles a quick shake and we're good to go. Put a nice generous amount of gold and then I'm going to layer them up with a little bit of black on the top. Then some more gold. Then a bit more black. And a bit more gold. My tendency is always to have too much paint in my flip and drag cup so I've gone minimal this time tiny tiny little amount so we will see what happens so I'm going to in terms of my um, composition I thought maybe like a, a more heavier drag here and then get in less as we go down but hey it's pouring anything can happen so I'm going to stick my cup just here and then fill in with the black to make the negative space So I've taken the paint right up to the edge of this cup so it's got plenty of black there to be floating on but I'm not an expert at the whole flip and drag. I tend to um, either drag and not get any paint out or I flip it too much and all the paint comes out. So I'm going to try my hardest today to make a success of this with just two colours. So let's see how I get on with my lift. I'm going to try and just break the seal a little bit on the cup by lifting it a tiny bit and of course it might all flood out and I might do it wrong but let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Yeah I've not broken the seal enough on the cup I can see although I've got gold coming out the paint's too thin so I do need to lift it up just a little bit and let some paint out. That's better. Now it's kind of floating a bit more on this layer of paint. Oh, now I've let it, done it too much. Okay, but well that's all right. I've still got enough that I can kind of drag it down off the side like that. And if I go back up here where I've got a little thin bit, I should hopefully be able to correct that with my cup. Okay, that is looking good got a little thin bit there I'm going to just dab in with the edge of the cup I still struggle a little bit with the flip and drag I am um, I don't I struggle to break the seal without letting too much paint out oh the inside of that cup looks absolutely gorgeous you know what this reminds me of this is a bit much like the um the black and gold that you get that kind of celebrates new year so this would be an excellent new year painting so 
got another little thin bit up here. This is where I haven't quite dragged the paint, so I'm just going to use my palette knife and pull that up there. And a little bit here. Just tapping these bits in wherever they're a little bit thin. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. Let's see, yes. So, so far so good. It kind of looks how I imagined. Oops, dragged a little bit of gold gold there. Um, but now I'm thinking maybe I can try and drag a bit more of the gold out into the black. So let's see what we've got for that. Just this whole kind of swipe effect helps to create more cells when you swipe one colour over another. So I'm looking in the, um, the screen of my video camera and it's basically looking black so I'm not sure whether you can see the gold but I will bring it down once I've finished a little bit more with my swiping here and we'll be able to see some of the details and hopefully it's going to look cool. So here is my two colour acrylic pour with black and gold and I think you're getting a bit of glare from the lights with the black there but as you come down and look at the details the gold paint does look really striking against the black. You can see the reflection up at the top there of my uh, camera where it hangs. So you can see that looks pretty cool. It's made some really nice cells and where the gold is kind of spread out over the black the whole flip and drag effect it does look really really cool really really nice so I think so far this is successful now obviously um, sometimes when things are drying especially around the edges with metallics into black I find that they kind of break up a little bit so I am keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to continue to look the same as this and up in this section where I've got more paint it's mixed more with the black where it came out of the cup and I've got a lot more variation so it's definitely gold but it also where it mixes with the black has a lot more interest to it see this is a really nice area here and where the bits are where I kind of swiped out with my um, with my palette knife you can see all the glittering of that gold paint you can see the glitter in it there so that looks pretty good looks just how I hoped so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that this dries well and of course I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished so here it is dried I've not put any varnish or anything on it yet um, and it's okay but it's not awesome the gold in it is you know great and there's um, perhaps not enough of it I think if I'd had more gold and less black I'd have had a bit of a better effect but um, one thing that I don't like is the gold where I had kind of spread it out over the black paint. It almost pushed the paint away. Um, I've had that with metallics before where they kind of almost bleed out into the colour and then they push the colour itself away and make like a matte area just here. And so it's basically got like a, a matte area on the inside and then it's created like this little gloss line here. Now it's not raised even though it looks like it on the um, on the camera there. It's just that it's a line of gloss. It's kind of weird but um, I think with the fact that it probably doesn't have enough gold for me and with this funny glossy line and then matte patch just here this one for me is not a keeper but I had to try it um, and certainly I think there's some merit in the idea of just creating um, you know, um, a, a very simple pour with not very co many colours against a negative space background, but this one was not successful. Anyway, we have to try these things, so thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you on acrylicpouring.com again very soon, where hopefully we'll do something a little bit more successful.